Uh, today, first of all, I want to say we're celebrating Human Rights Day. And so we're partnering with the Office of the United Nations Commissioner for, um, High Commissioner for Human Rights uh, to come to the village of Midway. Uh, some time ago, I think in September, you met, you saw us when we were here and we had a meeting with the Maya Leaders Association and the Toledo Alcalde Association sharing with them information that we picked up as we were doing the amnesty work where people were asking us to support them with information for um, birth certificates, to obtain their birth certificates and, and renewal of permanent resident card, things that persons who are already in a legal status needed help with. And so um, while that was not the focus of the amnesty, we decided, you know, it's very important because the, the, the amount of persons that were talking to us is very great. And so we decided that we would approach them to see if the village chairpersons and the alcaldes would be willing to work with us to gather information on each of their village as to what are the legal identity needs of the village. And so the promise was that the first village that was finished, that we will come back and we will bring back the results of the information gathered and that we will try to begin to help the people to get the documents that they need. So today we came back because Midway Village is complete. They um, had 15 persons who they identified needing immigration services. They identified 37 persons who needed um, of, um, birth certificates uh, issues, had, had with vital stats, and then there were other the others who were in need of social security services. So uh, what we will do is pass that information that we've gathered here today onto social security so that they can be aware of how many people are here that have all their documents together that might be interested in a card. But more importantly, we brought an officer from the Ministry of Immigration, specifically the Nationality and Passport Department, and she's collecting the data from these people who need to renew the old card to get the new one, to go back, and then they're going to verify um, the files and what is in the file, and then we begin the process of assisting them to renew their permanent resident card. And so they will now be able to um, get away from that very old one from the 90s and have the new permanent resident card that is being issued to, to people who are um, in need of applying. So. 47 of the 48 villages in Toledo, we did not include Bella Vista because that's so large that that would have been another, another issue. But we, we spoke with 47 of the 48. We don't know how many of them will agree at the end of the day. We had asked them to let's work towards completing it in um, it, uh, by the end of November. And so I know definitely we're close to 15 that's finished. Um, there are others who are working, but they're doing it a little bit slowly. Um, they're doing it manually. And so um, we, whenever they're finished, we would just like to have the information. And I think if we can get up to 30 villages, that would be sufficient for us to do the project. We are hoping to use the data from the, what the, they collect in terms of numbers to write a project to see how we can get funding to come back into these communities with the respective partners to get this to help these people to obtain their legal identity document. This is one of our um, objectives under the Global Compact for Migration, which is uh, another UN a, a UN issue. And so you've heard, always heard of the Sustainable Development Goals. Well, this is the chapter in that Bible. <laughs> um, and we're looking at the, the, the section that deals with legal identity. That's what we're helping people to try to see if they can, at the end of the day, have a document, which is a social security card, that they can use um, to conduct their personal or business transactions. So this event is happening right now. It's very important for the people of Midway in terms of um, um, proper documents. Uh, yes, I would like to um, thank them a lot for being here and for assisting the people of Midway who don't have their proper document. It is important for us as well because we, the alcaldes in our community, um, have knowledge of our community members who don't have documents and you know who need a lot of assistance. Um, but this um, this organization um, is coming to the community and then to assist our community members, um, which is something good for our community. While before the, our community for seeking their documents, they would have to travel to the city, they would have to do all kinds of runs um, from out district, which was um, very difficult for them. Um, not only too difficult, but finance wise, they don't have them. Many of our people in rural communities have been you know, so much difficulty in obtaining their legal paper, especially the vital statistic documents, social security card, which is re really um, essential. 
they are having hard times, but what these people are doing, the IMO, um, it's a great initiative, I must say. They are coming to the communities instead of communities way out there, you know, because if you look around, a lot of our people are less fortunate when it comes to, you know, in income. There is no income for them to be traveling to Belize or to Belmopan to get these papers. But these people from IMO came in to, you know, help these people, which is, I must applaud them for their hard work in doing that.